Cornelia, sweetie, your dad and I are going out for dinner. Okay, Mom, bye. Have fun. I know I will. Cornelius? Cornelius, sweetie? Oh my! Cornelius! Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Cornelius? Tim! Your son's dead! Son? Dead? I need to wash down with some vodka. Vodka. Cornelius, was it you? Hi, I'm Mary. And two years ago, my son Cornelius drank too much vodka. And he died on the spot. We came home and he was on the floor, passed out. He drank half of Tim's vodka. My bottle. His bottle. My vodka. His vodka. Now, we're here today to talk to you about the dangers of drinking any kind of alcohol. Like, when you drink, it'll damage your cerebral tissues, and then you'll be stupid. Also, when you drink and get drunk, your levels of sense of smartness go down. <laughs> Go down and you don't think as much, so you'll do some stupid stuff and regret it later in your life. It might even get you fired. Now, we're going to talk to you, Bill, about the things you should consider before drinking any kind of alcohol. First of all, ask advice from your parents or your friends about how much alcohol is really, of, of whatever alcohol is really worth drinking. Because sometimes, as Mary said, it can influence the way you think or damage your life. Second of all, you should be of legal drinking age, because if you're underage and drinking, first, it'll ruin your life, and second, if you get caught, you'll be in big trouble. Also, try and look at the negatives and positives of each decision you make, not just for alcohol, but too for alcohol. Some of the negatives, as Mary said, can influence the way you think and get you fired. Bartholomew, how many times have I told you not to smoke ever? Ten. Exactly. Smoking has so much negatives to it. Like what? First of all, it's an addiction. So even if you want to stop, sometimes you can't. Oh, come on. I can stop any time I want. <laughs> Second of all, it causes lung cancer. So do you want bad lives for the rest of your life? Oh come on, Ma. I don't have bad lungs. See? Ain't nothing bad about these lungs. Maybe now you don't have bad lungs, but in the future, I'm sure you will if you keep on smoking. Third of all, it's bad not only for you, but for the people around you. Seriously, uh, me and me and your dad are already having trouble breathing around the house with you smoking all the time. How does that work? Don't you know that old 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 saying. Old saying. No. Don't make me choke on your secondhand smoke. Oh, there ain't no secondhand smoke in this room. <coughs> Are you sure? <coughs> no. Exactly. Fourth, smoking makes you smoking makes it hard to breathe for you. So, you'll be bad at sports, bad at basketball, Bartholomew, that I know you love. Oh, come on. I'm doing fine with sports. Maybe now you are, but give it a couple of years and you won't be able to make it through halftime. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just have to give up smoking because there's that many negatives and almost no positives. Okay. We're done. Lamb chop, lamb chop, lamb chop. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm giving birth. He's giving birth. <laughs> it's a baby pillow. <laughs> Are you here? Anybody home? What do we do when Cornelius is hurt? Ow! <laughs> Who put that door there? Bartholomew! How many times have I told you not to smoke anymore? It's super bad for you! <coughs> Sorry, Pops. I just can't help it. See, this is why smoking's bad for you. One, it's an addiction. You'll get addicted to it. You won't be able to stop. Second, it's bad for your health. It'll cause you lung cancer. Also, it's bad for your health. <laughs> okay, I think we should write a script. No, I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah. I think we're done. No, I don't think we are. I think I screwed up on a lot of those. Our voices shouldn't be mingling. I love how your mustache just jiggled there. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Every <laughs> time I won't. Second of all, it causes it causes lung cancer. <laughs> Are you gonna say brain damage? Your face in this way. Oh boy. <laughs>